Am I audible? Am I audible? Good morning, everybody. Check. Up, up, I can. Okay, fine. Okay, once again, good morning. Uh, on behalf, on behalf of CNR of Halab Science and Education Technology Unit, I welcome you all. Uh, you know, uh, here and. Uh, the first I welcome Professor C. V. Yel Magad and uh, <laughs> and we have a special lecture and the followed by uh, there is an experiment session and we'll have some fun with science experiments and uh, meanwhile in the lecture session if you have any questions you can ask directly or you can note it and read out which I already uh, told you okay and. Uh, if you have mobile phones, keep it in silent mode or in switch off mode, okay? For the online participants, they can ask the question and uh, in, the, in the comment box. It is uh, streaming you know, live in, in YouTube. And, uh, okay, done? Fine. Because Everyone can access that, you know, you have, we have the YouTube channel. Uh, the YouTube channel name is the CNR of Hall of Science. If you search in the YouTube and you will get it. Don't search it now. <laughs> okay? Fine. Uh, let me introduce uh, our uh, speaker. We have a special lecture. Okay? We, we'll tell that. Uh, uh, Professor C.V. L. Magad, he is a fellow of Royal Society Chemistry and he is a distinguished material scientist. He is one of the India's top Two percent scientist the worldwide, okay. With his expertise in soft matter, nanomaterials, nano soft composite, composite, and related functional materials, he boosts a remarkable career. Uh, his contribution include over two thirty research publications, more than that, and he has ten patents, and the mentoring numerous PhD students and researchers. Okay. And uh, he earned his PhD in, uh, in, uh, uh, in organic chemistry from Karnataka University, Dharwad. And conducted postdoctoral, he, he pursued his postdoctoral uh, research, many institutions in the world, uh, in the world. Since 1997, he has been a scientist, scientist F, at the Nan Center for Nano and Soft Matter Science in Bangalore. Okay, Professor Ayer Magar has been a principal investigator for the government-sponsored research projects and has received recognition both nationally and internationally. He has delivered more than 350 invited talks and more than 800, you know, science outreach program talks, okay, Glo globally and nationwide. Uh, authored the reviews, you know, the, in the journal, you know, he's, uh, he published, you know, uh, the more than, uh, which I already said, you know, 230 research papers. In addition to that, and he has received many recognitions and uh, the awards in, from various institutions in the world. You know, the notable among them are, you know, uh, uh, the C.V. Raman, uh, the Young Scientist Award, MRSI Go Gold Medal, and uh, uh, the Indian Liquid uh, Crystal Society Medal, and uh, INSA Visiting Scientist. And he, he, he has the position, you know, in various institutions in the, in the world, uh, you know, especially from Japan, Germany, USA, the China, Canada, and many research institutions in the world. He's a visiting professor and the visiting scientist. And uh, the, I'll, I'll read out, you know, we have the list of the awards and medals. Yeah, fine. Uh, and one more thing I, I, I'd like to tell, Professor El Magar is a passion about, about the, the educating college students and teachers on many materials, you know, the, the creating excitement, you know, creating scientific temper among the rural students. He went to rural, rural places, so gave a talk, many talks which I already told, okay? Thank you very much, and uh, now it's uh, over to you. We welcome uh, once again uh, Professor Ayal Magad. Over to you, sir. I'm audible. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. You had your breakfast? Yes, sir. I can't hear you. I'm old, you know. 
Good morning, everybody. Good morning, sir. At the outset, I would like to express my deep sense of gratitude to Bharata Ratna, Karnataka Ratna, highly distinguished professor C. N. R. Rao. Whatever I am today, in whatever status, in a right manner, is all because of the blessings and the guidance of uh, Professor, the great, great Professor C. N. R. Rao. I express my deep sense of, I take this occasion to express my gratitude to Professor C. N. R. Rao. I also take this opportunity to thank his son and Vinayak Pathar, who has been the key person to conduct such programs. Can you give a big round of applause to him? <laughs> he is a nice bridge between students and scientists. He is a person who brings outstanding, uh, outstanding scientists and students make them to interact. Well, as already being declared, today I'm going to talk to you on one of the fascinating aspects of science. This particular aspect of science and technology has come up in the last one decade or so. You must have watched a number of YouTube, or let me put it in a very straightforward manner. Doesn't matter from which cause, I mean, which religion you are from, which religion, doesn't matter, Hindu, Muslim, Sikh, whatever is Jain, whatever it is, all of us have been taught about a very interesting aspect in our life, we have been taught about the existence of God. Do you agree or disagree? My parents or your parents, my grandparents and their grandparents, it goes on. If you look at the history of Indians, we believe in the existence of God. Doesn't matter from which religion you are. Yes or no? Yes. yes. Right now, many of you have the belief that, yes, I'm very sure, it doesn't matter whether you are Muslim or Hindu, Christian, whatever it is, we all have the belief that God exists. Yes or no? Yes. Be loud, please. Yes or no? Yes. yes sir. There is a God. Goddess. There is a, there is a spiritual trend, strength. There is, you know, cosmos energy. We scientists greatly believe in what is known as the cosmos energy. I, being a scientist, I have my own way of thinking. On many occasions, I have presented this as far as I'm concerned, you cannot separate science and spirituality. It's a one coin. Science is one, 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 one side, the spirituality, other side. If you take a coin, turn it this way to science, take other way, it is spirituality. I believe in that greatly. Okay? All of us believe. Yes or no? doesn't matter from which religion you are, okay. But interestingly, all of you know that God is existent, God is there, goddesses are there, spiritual strength is there, but can you see them? Yes, that is called invisibility. Yes or no? In this particular hall, okay, in this particular hall, we know that God exists. Yes or no? Most of us believe, yes or no? Yes, sir. That is the reason, ladies and gentlemen, we are meeting each other. It is his, you know, determination, his direction, his dictation that I should be able to meet such a wonderful students. All right, let us think. If God is existent, why he or she is not visible? Think carefully, think carefully. Other words, in other words, let me put it in a very straightforward manner. We are all, with due respect to blind people, they cannot see. Yes or no? But whereas, we are able to see each other. Right from the, you are born, right from the day you are born, you have been able to see the things around you. We are all natural objects. Yes or no? Living objects and non-living objects. Let us start with the nature. In the nature, Okay, we have different types of objects, living and non-living. Yes or no? Yes. yes. 
Now, when we come to the concept of invisibility or visibility, what it is? Let us think very carefully, systematically, scientifically, and let's arrive at a conclusion. Is that all right? Okay. My first question is, why are you able to see the things around you? My first question. Wait, wait a minute. I'll come back to that point. Okay. Second question is, if I, if we were to meet in a very, very dark room where there is no light, can you see me? Can we see each other? No. Loudly, please. No, sir. Okay. Third question is, if you close your eyes, the third, you know, concept is, or the question I'm putting across to you is that if you close your eyes, you are able to see me? No, yeah. So now I'm getting, get, giving you the clues. Okay. Why are you not able to see the things around you when you close your eyes or you are not able to see things around you if you are sitting in a dark room? Yes or no? Yeah. I'm already giving you the hint. Let us think scientifically. What is this all about? Why God is not visible? Yes, I strongly believe. I believe strongly God is existent. God is there. What is God? It's a cosmos energy. Okay? That energy is there. But why are you not able to see, ladies and gentlemen? Okay? Let us think carefully, scientifically. Before I do that, let us go through, uh, let us say a few words about uh, my center where I'm working as a scientist. Yeah, as he mentioned. My center name is Center for Nano and Soft Matter Sciences. It comes under the administrative control of Department of Science and Technology, Government of India. Well, these are the people, these are my associates who have contributed significantly uh, to the, uh, my group. And today I'm going to talk to you about invisibility. So these are the persons who have contributed significantly uh, to this particular research area. I want you to give a big round of applause to Sachin Bhatt. Big round of applause to Sachin Bhatt. <coughs> Sachin Bhatt is from, you know, Sirsi, a very small village, but wonderfully, he has done wonderfully well. Now he is, he is a chief scientist in the forensic department, uh, Karnataka State Police. Give a big round of applause to him. Very nice, wonderful person. When he came to my lab, he started thinking about, sir, what is it? What is it? What is it about? How about the invisibility or visibility? He started thinking because we work on nanomaterials. Okay, what we do is we take nanomaterials and liquid crystals and combine them so as to realize what are known as soft nanocomposites. Ladies and gentlemen, all of you know that nanomaterials have n number of optical properties. On the other hand, liquid crystals have a number of properties. These are soft materials. These are ultra hard, ultra fine hard material. Liquid crystals have a number of properties. Nanomaterials have a number of properties. Can we combine them to realize a new set of, a new class of materials, what are known as soft nanocomposites? All right, fine. Then what are liquid crystals? You know about nanomaterials, right? He must have already mentioned to you, what are nanomaterials? What are nanomaterials? Please, quickly. One person, no, this is not the way to interact with scientists. Raise your hand and let me know who is going to answer in appropriate way. Tell, let me know what is a nano object or what you call. If you want to call, can I take my one hair strand and say there's a na nano thread? No? Good, but how, how, do, you, how do I convert? my hair strand or your hair strand and say that it is a nanofiber. How can I say that? Yes, exactly. Give a big round of applause to her. Yeah, exactly. So, how many pieces? How many pieces? I should take my hair strand, cut into how many pieces to realize a nano strand? What is the number? No, one lakh. You take my highest stand, cut into one lakh pieces, and then one lakh, among them, if you take one piece, one stand, that is nanomaterial, nanofiber. You got my point? Okay, any object or anything which has a size of about less than 100 nanometers, we call them as, we call them as 
yes. Okay, nanomaterials have n number of properties, beautiful optical properties, and it was the uh, the uh, assumption or it was the anticipation of great great professor C N R Rao that nanomaterials have a huge potential, and in the near future, at that point in time, about 20 years ago, he had stated that nanomaterials have a n number of potential, and our you know we all scientists should work on such material that's how this took this the uh, the, the center existed the, he was a chairman council chairman he dedicated his uh, center to the nano okay nano and stuff okay fine nano materials are ultra fine ultra fine materials but they are hard materials please note that point okay fine no 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 don't, don't, don't just keep it in your mind now close close your close your pen pencil everything just be attentive. I would like to give one example. When you watch a movie, Shah Khan movie, recent movie, you remember each and every scene. You know why? Tell me reason. Tell me the reason. Hey, come on, tell me the reason. Because you are very focused, highly focused. Okay? In no way it is different from that. Now, let me put it this way. Please treat me as a hero and see what I say. Okay, is it all right? Yes. Do I look like? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Good. Great. Then listen to me carefully. Okay, I'm a scientist, not hero. Okay, but listen to me carefully. All right. I talked about nanomaterials, nanoparticles in particular. They have n number of optical properties. Those can be utilized for n number of purposes for practical applications. That's one aspect. Now come to soft materials. What are soft materials? Your butter, toothpaste, anything which is soft, it's called soft material. Okay, that's a general way to say, but soft materials in general, what are soft materials? What is the definition? A matter which undergoes changes by application of excess stimuli, they change their properties. That's called soft matter. Soft matters are very, very delicate to the external stimuli. One of the best examples of soft matter is are the liquid crystals. There are different types of soft materials. One of the best examples of soft material is there is liquid crystals. How many of you have heard LCDs? Raise your hand. LCD is liquid crystal display. Liquid crystal display. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you, thank you. May I have attention? Silence, please. Now. You, up, doesn't matter nowadays whether I have my wife with me or not, doesn't matter. Pencil, book, pencil, whatever it is, you or me, doesn't matter. We do have mobile phones. Yes or no? The, we have reached to a stage that without mobile, your existence is becoming difficult. Yes or no? All the time we are attached to the mobile phone. Ladies and gentlemen, in your mobile phone, in, can you get me a mobile phone? Yeah, please. Ladies and gentlemen, the mobile phone, what you see, this panel, okay, it is called liquid crystal display, okay. All the mobile phones, you have liquid crystal display. Not only that, you have laptop computers, you have televisions, you have calculators, what not. So all these, these uh, you, you know, gadgets have a small panel called liquid crystal display. What is liquid crystal then? Liquid crystal represents Right from your school days, you have been made aware of the existence of different states of matter. Yes or no? Yes. Can you call them? Can you call them, please? Yes. Right. Both signs and condensate. Okay. Both signs and condensate. Solid, liquid, gas, and plasma. Ladies and gentlemen, there exists another state of matter called liquid crystal. Liquid crystal represent yet another state of matter without which none of the living system would have existed on this earth. Means you are a bundle of liquid crystals. All of you, you take any living system that is present on this earth, all of us have liquid crystals in our body. N number, you have an average 10 to the power of 14 number of liquid crystals in your body. What are they? What are they? Liquid crystal, they flow like liquids at the same time they exhibit what is known as double refraction, okay? That is an interesting property of liquid crystal. 
I intended to say that in your body, you have 10 to the power of 14 number of cells. Each and every cell is very well protected by what is known as plasma membrane or cell wall that is liquid system. Okay? Then why always we, we think of drinking water, okay? My doctor or your doctor, your elderly people, parents, or grandparents, they ask you to keep drinking water. What is the reason? You have to maintain the fluidity of your plasma membrane, therefore you have to keep drinking water. Means liquid crystals are fluids. At the same time, they exhibit what is known as double refraction or they conduct electricity. That's fine. In order to realize new set of materials, as I just now mentioned, nanomaterials have n number of optical properties and liquid crystals have n number of optical properties, therefore it is being used in the, the, this way, okay? Now, can I take liquid crystals? Can I take, you know, nanomaterials? One is hard, one is soft. When I try to combine them, I have n number of properties. Provided, provided there is no phase separation. Now, you think of a butter and think of a fine, you know, sand. So can you mix them? Yes. Can you mix them? They fall apart. Yes or no? Yes, but by some means, using my chemistry knowledge, can I mix this sand powder? It's also material. It's also, it's also chemical. Okay? It's a, it's, it's a compound or it's a, it's a material. Can I take, take this material and butter as a material? Can I mix them? Just for example. Just for example. Okay? Can I mix them so that there is no phase separation? This is what precisely we are doing. My research group is doing at Center for Nano and Soft Matter Sciences. What is it I'm doing? I'm going, I'm taking liquid crystals, I'm taking nanomaterials or nanoparticles. I'm I'm decorating with or uh, decorating or stabilizing this central board scaffold with liquid crystals. Okay? Now I have a new set of materials wherein the central gold scaffold is covered with liquid crystal to realize what are known as soft nano composites. Thereby, I have a new set of materials. This new set of materials exhibit the properties of both nano particles as well as liquid crystal. Is it not fantastic? It's not a good idea? That's what I precisely Sachin did. Sir, I want to combine these two. So far, I have guided about 10 PhD students. They are jumped. They're in IIT professors now. Somebody is an IIT professor, somebody in Bangalore University. They are, my students are spread. All are 10 or 10 jumps. My job is very easy. When they come to my lab, okay, I'll give them the existing problem. What you can do, we'll discuss in length, okay, in a great length. It doesn't matter what time it is in the night or morning or whatever it is. We discuss thoroughly. Okay? We discuss and then set the problem. This gentleman came to me. Now he's a Dr. Sachin Butt. With a, a due respect, with a due respect to him. I know what he has contributed to the growth of science. I know it very well. He came that I would like to work on nanomaterials as well as liquid crystal. I want to combine them. Well, I said, fantastic idea. That's how this uh, journey of invisibility started. You must understand why I'm talking about nanomaterials and soft materials, then extending up to invisibility. Okay? As I said, both of them have wonderful optical properties. Nanomaterials have n number of optical properties. Liquid crystals have n number of optical properties. If I combine them, then I have a new set of materials called soft nanocomposites. They can be used for different purposes. But Sachin imagined that, okay, well, why don't I use it for invisibility? How, the, what is the basic idea here is, you know, slightly difficult to understand. Don't worry about that. Try, don't worry about understanding about that. But try to figure out that he conceived an idea that by combining the properties of both liquid crystals and nanoparticles, we can uh, get into a new era of research. That's how our journey began. Okay, let me thank him profoundly and then proceed. Well, there are global concerns, the challenges science and technology. I think all of you are aware that we are running out of potable water. In the days to come, we do not have 
drinking water. There's a scarcity already. Then we have put in agriculture food crisis, especially we have realized in, in when, when we had a COVID-19 situation, you have realized how difficult it was. Okay, shelter, health. Health again, COVID-19 taught us a lesson. Okay, we have gone to moon, we have done wonders. But as far as health is concerned, we are still lagging far, far, far behind. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give one example. Paracetamol, which is antipyretic drug. You use antipyretic drug, isn't it? It, it was discovered in 1888. Okay? Till today, there is no replacement, although paracetamol is highly toxic material, but we use it as a, like a, just like a peppermint. Yes, yes or no? For anything, you go to your medical shop, paracetamol or crocin, okay? 500, it was very popular. Yes. Dolo? Yeah. Ragi mudde, dolo, sleep. Very popular, isn't it? Okay. But ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you, you are now young scientist. I would like to refer you it as a young scientist. Let me I mean, express my feeling that, or let me um, express my wish that some of you may win Nobel Prize. Who knows? Some of you may win. Who knows? Who stops you? Who stops you? You are stopping yourself. Okay, on another occasion, I'll meet you again and let you know how to win Nobel Prizes. But don't ask me why you didn't win. <laughs> okay, the reason is I become old. Now you have a young mind, young brain. Okay, you can think of it. Okay, coming back to my topic. Now we have sa safety, energy, pollution, climate change, global warming, nature and animal conservations. Okay, right. So uh, scientists across the world, India or here in JNCR in our place, uh, are engaged in design and preparation of materials that can take care of water concerns, health, energy, and you may be wondering what is happening is all of us are, I mean, engaged, actively engaged in design, synthesis, and characterization of what are known as functional materials. So now, today I'm going to talk about functional materials. What is that functional material already I told you? Soft nanocomposites. Okay, what I have done, I have taken gold nanoparticles and these are being stabilized by liquid crystals. Okay, I have a new set of materials, they are called soft functional materials. Okay, this is, I, I come from this organization, Center for Nano and Soft Matter Sciences. This comes under the administrative control of uh, Government of India, sorry, Department of Science and Technology and uh, Government of India. So, uh, JNCR is our sister concern. We are under the same administrative control. Okay. I must, I must tell you that I am really blessed, really blessed, okay? I don't know how many of you recognize, he's a great physicist called Professor Shivaramakrishnan Chandrasekhar, who is, with whom I worked for 14 years. When the lab was opened, I was the first person to join. I had occasion to speak to him 14 years, ladies and gentlemen. If you speak to him for half an hour, whatever I am speaking of university, he had talked about 20 years ago that liquid crystal can be used, okay, to realize materials that can contribute towards the invisibility. He had spoken 20 years ago, or at that stage, of, uh, uh, just before the 2015, before he demised in the year 2014, he was talking about invisibility and liquid crystals. He is. He is coming from noble laureate family. That is, he is nephew of Sir C. V. Raman. Look at their nose. <laughs> they are quite identical, isn't it? Yes or no? He was nominated. Let me tell you, we missed one more Nobel Prize. He was nominated for the Nobel Prize on three different occasions. He demised in the year 2004. Therefore, you know that for the person who demise, they don't get Nobel Prize. Yes or no? Yes. As I said, I'm really, really blessed. I'm proud of myself because I associated with Professor Yes Chandrasekhar, who is coming from Sir C. V. Raman family. He is a nephew, younger sister's son. Okay? He's a nephew. Can you see the identity? Exactly, they took identical. Yes or no? There is one more Chandrasekhar who won the Nobel Prize in physics, astrophysics. Okay, he was in USA, okay. Now, I would like to say that, I'm very proud to say that I'm coming from 
Sir C. Raman family. Give a big round of applause to me. <laughs> big round of applause. Thank you. Don't think that I'm, I'm shameless. I have to be. <laughs> the point is to say, ladies and gentlemen, please think where you are today, to whom you are listening to. OK? Therefore, you must thank Vinayak again. Thank him again. <laughs> Bringing a scientist from his lab to uh, here, lecture hall, very difficult. He knows it. OK? Very difficult to get time, you know? I, get, I have to find time to come and talk to you. Of course, I have dedicated myself uh, in, uh, in you know, doing research and teaching. I, I think, as I mentioned, I crossed more than, uh, uh, presented more than 800 lectures. Even with the cycle, I have gone to the villages and pre presented the lecture, OK? Gone to the interior part of Karnataka, highway interior part, with cycle. I have gone and presented, OK? You know, that's a passion, OK? Fine. With this brief introduction, let me go to my actual topic. OK, right from beginning, we have been working on liquid crystals. Those can be used for display and solar cells. Recently, we have been working on gels, and those can be used for liquid crystal uh, displays. Now here, today, I'm going to talk about this. What we are trying to do is at the Center for Nano and Soft Materials, we are trying to carry out a perfect marriage between hard materials and soft materials, so as to realize what are known as soft nanocomposites. I'll skip everything and go to my research topic, OK? I'll skip everything, OK? Fine. OK, one aspect I'll tell you, we have been able to generate n number of materials for sensing explosives. That's one of my uh, you know, research area, which is very highly satisfactory, OK? I check uh, simple materials. Those can be used for the detection of any kind of you know, explosives, high energy materials. All right. OK, <clears throat> mercury I can detect. OK, it doesn't matter. No, no. The, uh, the nanomaterials, nanoparticles are hard. Yeah. They're ultra fine hard materials. Hard. Yeah. Liquid crystals are soft. Right. They cannot go together. Yeah. yeah, fine. Thank you. Come back. May I have your attention, please? Well, functional hybrid material for science and technology of invisibility. Today, I'm going to talk about. OK, coming back to my topic. You are there with me? Yeah. Be attentive. Be attentive. OK. Now my technical session starts, OK? Today I'm here, ladies and gentlemen, today I'm before you to talk about invisibility, what it is and how it can be realized, OK? What does it mean? Listen to me carefully. Now light is falling on me, OK? You are focusing towards me, therefore I'm visible. Now let us make a small experiment, simple experiment, OK? Can you all of you close your eyes? Close your eyes, all of you, all of you, including faculty members, can you close your eyes for a while, OK? Close your eyes. Can you close your eyes, please? All of you, you must close your eyes. All of you must close your eyes. Open your eyes. Am I visible? I become God, isn't it? <laughs> there you are. There you are. I became invisible. Yes or no? I cheated you. No, it's a science I did. OK, ladies and gentlemen, when you close your eyes, be attentive. May I have your attention, please? All of you. May I have your attention, please? I did a simple, I carried out a simple experiment, ladies and gentlemen. What did I do? I asked you to close your eyes, thereby I demonstrated that, I thereby I demonstrated that when you close eyes, you are not able to see anything. Yes or no? Yes, Can you call it as invisibility? No. Okay? Then what I did was, although I was physically here, okay? Although I was here, when, when you close your eyes, I moved somewhere else. When I moved somewhere else, it means that between me and you, there was a wall. Yes or no? Yes. 
Therefore, I became, I was not, you are not able to see me. Yes or no? Yes. I'm giving you a hint. Then, let us come back to the basic fundamental aspect of what is visibility. First, let us define what is visibility. Why are you able to see the things around you, ladies and gentlemen? My students, why are you able to see? One, one answer, please. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Yes, please. Stand up, please. OK. Refraction of light? Yes. Give a big round of applause to her. Big round of applause. Sit down. Well, it is simple. Now, be attentive. It is simple. Ladies and gentlemen, you are able to see me or you are able to see around you in this particular hall because, simply because, the light which is falling on me in, I mean, in layman we call light, okay? But as a scientist, as a student, you say light is nothing but electromagnetic radiation. Yes or no? Yes, the electromagnetic radiation, which is natural, it could be tube light or sunlight, whatever light, candlelight, whatever it is, it's a light, okay? If light falls on me, the light which is falling on me, the light which is falling on me right now, either gets reflect, uh, it gets reflected as well as scattered. The reflected, uh, the light which is falling on me, the electromagnetic radiation which is falling on me is getting reflected and coming to your eyes. Therefore, I am visible. Yes or no? Yes. I did a small experiment. I went behind the wall. You are not able to see because the light which is falling on me is not coming to your eyes. Yes or no? Yes. That is invisibility. Should I say invisibility? No. What, what is invisibility? Well, let me put it this way. I'm here. Physically, you are able to see me because the electromagnetic radiation or light which is falling on me is getting reflected. That reflected light is coming to your eyes. You are receiving. OK? Therefore, I'm, a, I'm visible. OK. Now, if I want to become invisible, what should I do? What does it mean? The light which is falling on me should not come to your eyes. What should I do? Answer, please. Put off the lights. Wait, wait, wait a minute. First, first in the first place, I set you thinking, right? Think carefully. You please involve in the in this particular shop, in this particular presentation. Why are you able to see me? Tell me. <laughs> yes, exactly. Reflection of light. Yes or no? Yes, the entire light which is falling on me is coming to your eyes. Yes or no? Yes, but when you close your eyes, you are not able to see me. Yes or no? Yes, Say loudly. Yes, sir. Then can you think of it? Can you reverse it? No. Exactly. No reflection. The light should not reflect. Okay? Before I do that, I, before I let you know what exactly it is, how it can be, but very difficult. Very difficult. It's a natural phenomenon. Okay? Light falling on any objects, natural objects, and light is reflected, coming to your eyes. Therefore, you become visible. It's all natural. The invisibility, what I'm talking about, is quite unnatural. Okay? This is the imagination of scientists. And, uh, Please give a big round of applause to all the scientists who have realized this. Big round of applause. <laughs> what they have done, basically, what they have done, basically, they are trying to work with what is known as, you know, refractive index. What is the refractive index? Amount of, light. Amount of bending of light or speed of light? Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, if I take a glass of water, if I, take, if I take a glass and put half, fill it with half of water, then put a straw, how it appear? As if it is bent, OK? Now, light is traveling from one thin medium to thick transparent medium. Both are transparent, OK? Now, uh, the, the, it appears that as if the, the straw has bent. It is not the bending of straw. It is the bending of light. That's what we call refraction of light. Yes or no? is very, very important, OK? Now, in, in our universe, we have so many transparent medium, water, plastic, whatever it is. All of them have what is known as, what is known as? 
positive refractive index ladies and gentlemen you take any liquid any transparent liquid or any transparent material that's present on this earth all of them have what is known as positive refractive index there is no single transparent medium on this earth that has a negative refractive index we scientists are trying to make materials that show negative refractive index there is a relation between invisibility and and refractive index this relation some of them believe some of them no believe because all of us are involved in realizing what is known as invisibility ladies and gentlemen i am going to show you few pictures few movies look at it this is all you know movies look at it how the experiments are being done look at it and we'll talk about it later okay is that all right okay enjoy this movies okay first movie please first movie sound please sound light off lights off now i want you to it's not for fun look at it carefully this is a you know i want you to understand i want you to look at certain things look at the pictures try to understand what's happening carefully watch okay double click wait 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 double click ma ah double click wait idhar mein double click maadi band madte hain ha ab double click maadi double click open ಆಯ್ತು ಅದು ಹಾಗಲ್ಲ ಅದು ಇಷ್ಟೇ ಅಂತ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ಹಾಂ ಓಪನ್ ಓಪನ್ ಹಾಂ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಹೇಳ್ಡು ಹೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆನ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲಿ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಯುವರ್ ಅಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಪ್ಲೀಸ್ ಸೌಂಡ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಯು ಟು ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಕೇರ್ಫುಲ್ ವಾಟ್ something yes you are able to see something what is that look at it carefully okay now it's very interesting movie
got to watch carefully now. Two scenes are important. Okay, come back. You are in still movie mode. Come back. Okay, switch on light, please. Okay, my dear students, what we watch is something interesting. Okay, in a both, uh, you know, movies, you were able to see that there was a cloth. I want your attention, please. Back. Attention, please. In both the movies, you were able to see that there was a cloth, there was a gown, okay? When that gown or cloth falls on somebody, they become invisible, okay? It is non-natural or unnatural material called, this is made up of what are known as optical metamaterials. I shall repeat, the gowns which were worn by objects, the object, if this cloth falls on some object, that particular object does not matter whether a living object or non-living object, it becomes invisible. Physically it is also, it is there, but it becomes invisible. Then what is the definition of invisibility, okay? Okay, invisibility, technically speaking, blocking or objects, making them appear invisible. What does it mean? The object or subject does not really disappear, yes or no? It is there, it does not disappear. But it is present, but can't be seen as shown here. That is what invisibility. We can make materials. These are called functional materials. In particular, these are called optical meta materials. They interact with the light in all different manner. You are natural. I am natural. Light is natural. The light, the way light interacts with you is quite natural. Means the light which falls on me, ladies and gentlemen, gets reflected or scattered or scatters and reflected. The reflected light comes to your eyes, therefore you are not able to see. Now what is invisibility? Although I am physically here, if I take that material or cloth which is made up of optical meta material, if it falls on me, I become invisible. How does it happen? There is a big question. How does it happen? Uh, let me explain. There is a huge science and technology behind it. Let me explain in a very simplified manner and I will try to convince you that now this particular concept, the invisibility is being realized all over the world for some secure reason it is not being published. <clears throat> okay. Now I want you to put up the lights please, put up the lights, light, this light. Can you see this very uh, popular movie Harry Potter? You can see the main character is walking in the library. Okay. You are able to see only the lamb. The main character is not seen. Now, next scene is important. Can you see the moment the main character, Harry Potter, removes that gown which is falling, which was on him, he is visible. Yes or no? Yes. That is what it is. Okay. That particular gown 
or cloth is specially made up of material called optical meta material they interact with the light in altogether different manner or reverse almost reverse okay what did i say i talked about positive refractive index now we have to think of negative refractive index i think you are getting me yes or no yes let me realize what it is okay in, so we can use nano materials for invisibility in the world of harry potter invisibility clocks are made from the hair of magical creature called demigeus so this is the animal okay presently they are made by meta material so is it okay optical meta materials can be used to realize what is known as optical invisibility or clocking of lights is that okay okay then now the question is how these materials interact with light why it for example i as a physically i'm here if i take that material if it if that if i take that gown if i put it on me i become invisible physically you are able to hear listen to me but physically you will not be able to see me because that particular cloth has fallen on me what does it mean it means that that particular material interacts with the light in an altogether different manner how let me see <coughs> all right meta materials are generally made up of uh, metals and plastics but they are man made substances and have the properties that are not found in nature they manipulate no no put up the light they manipulate light look at it it's a very very important slide if you can understand this then i'm done they manipulate light wave by blocking look at it blocking absorbing enhancing and bending in particular they exhibit what is known as ref negative refractive index and epsilon near zero perfect lensing and hyperboracity my dear students at center for nano and soft matter sciences we are developing soft nano composites they show the property what is known as epsilon near zero is very very important in the context of invisibility we have realized material soft nano composites they show the property what is known as epsilon near zero okay so here is again i would like to reiterate on the point that if a meta material falls on you optical meta material falls on you you become invisible now the question is what happens exactly lights on please lights on <coughs> okay this is a very important slide first look at it material meta materials optical meta materials are mad main substances having extraordinary optical properties please realize okay when wave hits natural objects the wave scatters or reflect gets reflected and thus object is seen yes or no the light which is falling on you gets reflected scattered therefore you are able to see me yes or no now look at it this very simple okay simple principle when wave hits man man made optical meta materials wave bends around the object and hence in becomes invisible what does it mean very simple extremely simple the light electromagnetic radiation which is falling on me will not be reflected if you stop that then you become invisible very simple did i convince you yes or no yes, loudly please yes sir in order that i should become invisible i become god what should i do by the way i am arguing with the god and goddess you are using meta materials you are a biomass optical you know meta material you are optical meta material i am arguing with them yes sir no yes i have to convince you okay now in the future days we are going to realize this emphatically what others have done is the all of them what they use is metals and plastics i am using organic compounds those can be you know uh, disintegrated okay it is not i mean we should see about the environment also if i make material if they are harmful to the environment is not good therefore what we are trying to do is we are trying to choose organic molecules and nanoparticles combine them so as to realize what are known as optical meta materials okay now this is what is interesting is a uh, very interesting bending of pen image in water one direction okay you know that light is traveling from thin transparent medium to thick 
transparent medium and both of them have positive refractive indices. They have positive refractive indices, yes or no? Right. Now, when you think of this water, this has a negative refractive index. Look at it. Light, which is supposed to bend, it's going in opposite direction. Are you getting me? Are you getting me? If I have a material, okay, if it interacts with light in this manner, what should be, what should be, what should happen? It takes, should, light should take a deviation. Yes or no? In essence, if I want to become invisible, what is invisibility? Although physically I'm here, but ladies and gentlemen, you are not able to see me. That's called invisibility. Okay? Now, how it can be achieved? Scientifically, I should, what should I do? Uh, my body should be such that the light electromagnetic radiation which is falling on me will not be scattered or reflected. It should take a deviation. Yes or no? That's what I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, today. Okay? Have you realized what I spoke? Okay? In order that one has to disappear, what we should do? The light which is falling on that particular object should take a deviation. Yes or no? No scattering, no reflection, only deviation. It's as simple as that, but very difficult to achieve. It's quite unnatural. I hope I've been able to convince you about the concept of invisibility and how this can be, how this can be achieved with simple scientific experiments, demonstrations. Okay, whatever the movie you saw, two, three movies, you, oh, sorry, two movies you saw is all based on this concept. Okay, fine. Light, interaction, reflection, scattering, or deviation. It's all about. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoyed. Yes, sir. Okay. Should I come again? Yes, sir. Right. I'll tell you why you are why you should drink water. Okay? It's a major concept. Okay. I'll tell you, you your body, why one should drink lots of water? Anybody has an idea? Oh no, no, no. What is your basic component? What is your basic compo what is your basic component of your body? Any living system? Cell. Cell is very well protected by? Plasma membrane. What is plasma membrane? Liquid crystal. You use, a, do you take bath every day? Do you use shampoo? But you take every day bath? Do you use uh, uh, soap? You take bath every day? My God. I will take once in a while, once in a year. Can you believe that? No, no. Every day in your day-to-day -day life, you are using liquid crystal. Without your notice, detergent soaps, when they come in contact with water, they generate liquid crystal structure. Your body is full of liquid crystals. Sir, another day, please invite me, and then again, I'm going to tell them about liquid crystals. Okay? Okay? I hope you enjoyed. Okay. Few questions. I am ready to take few questions. Oh, was it boring? Yeah. Right. Exciting? Yes, sir. But uh, still, you are on your bench. You should dance, no? Okay. Questions, please. Questions, please. Yes. May I have attention, please? May I have attention? Attention, please. Yeah. I'm going to show you one more movie. Okay. No, no. What is, what is the, refract, uh, the refractive index? Speed of light. OK. It goes in a positive direction. Hello. Hello. Direction Hello. is positive. Check. Positive. This is positive refractive index means it's a positive. If you take four quadrants, positives and negatives are there. Na? Check. It goes in a negative way. Yes. Yeah, give me a speaker. Good morning, sir. Excuse me, sir. Sir, you said that in this meta material, the light does not scatter, the light, light does not reflect, nor refract also. So then you have showed your image of bending of pen in meta material. Mm. It's in opposite direction. 
Mm. So how does this happen? Mm. Sit down. Very good question. Very good question. See, here, what I am trying to tell you is, in order to realize what is known as invisibility, the light which is falling on you. You listen to me. Hello, listen to me. You ask question, right? Stand up, please. You say whatever you want, I ask. No. It's a real interaction, no? So what did I say? Why are you visible? Reflection of light, right? Scattering and reflection of light. Yes? OK. In order that you should become invisible, what should I do? What should I do? The light which is falling on you should take a deviation. Then your material should be made up of uh, uh, transparent systems that have negative refractive index. If you, take, if you take material that are made up of negative refractive index, the light will not reflect, it will scatter. It will go other way, opposite way. It should come this way, it will go opposite way. Yes or no? Sit down. Sir, what may be disadvantages of metamaterials? Disadvantages? Why you want to worry about disadvantages? Sir, because... It's always like, advantages to me. Uh, when I go sit down, I'll tell you. <laughs> I go home every day. If I want to be peaceful at home, we married people, if you want to be really peaceful at home, doing our scientific job, then I should use metamaterials. In fact, I use it at home. You understood? Madam, sorry. Excuse me, sir. No, I'm talking about materials. Yes. Excuse me, sir. Right, right, hold on, hold on. No, no, jokes apart, okay, you are saying something. Yeah, sir, so is, does this material exist right now? Uh, for security reasons, I will not tell you, sit down. <laughs> I said, no, I'm using at home. Sir? Sir, uh, what is the sir, real silence, life silence, applications please. of what, these? Wait, wait, silence, please. May I have attention, please? May I have attention? Thank you. Yes. Sir, what are the real life applications for these meta materials? Sir, defense. Defense. Yes, sir. I will not reveal completely. Defense. Sit down. I can do robbery, isn't it? Bank. There's negative aspect of it. Okay. Excuse me, sir. Silence, please. Silence. Hey, please respect your colleague. Please. Sir, yeah. can meta materials be seen? Huh? Like, can we see them? You can see. Oh, you want to see that? Anna, two minutes? Yes. Okay. You want to see that? Yeah, these are the materials. That will show the property when we make thin films and play with it. Just a beginning, just a spec, okay? What I have done is just a spec, okay? You can see the materials, okay? Fine. Thank, Thank you. you, sir. Excuse me, sir. Uh, sir I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Suppose I put on a meta material cloak. Huh. You people can't see me, but yeah. can I see you? Yes, of course. Why not? <laughs> Why not? I see. But like I, the, but the hey, very Please don't talk. May I have a silence? The cloth will be blocked. Very good question. Yes, see, the point is the light which you are, you are wearing. Uh, meta, uh, the gown which is made of optical metamaterial, right? You become invisible because light which is falling on you takes a deviation. Yes or no? Yes. yes. But why it should happen to me? Because I'm not wearing any gown. The light which is falling on me should come to your eyes. But yes, the cloth is blocking. What blockage? That. Why you want to block? No, there's nothing like a blockage. It will come to you. Okay. okay? Okay, please don't talk. Silence, please. Yeah. So, uh, when you talk about negative refractive index, does it mean that the speed of light is greater than in a vacuum? <coughs> what is it? Come again. The, uh, the negative refractive hey, index. Hey, don't use mobile. Oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> the negative refractive index. You should index. not use mobile when live sessions are going on. Yeah. Okay? My apologies. Yeah, please tell me. Uh, does that mean the uh, speed of light is greater than in a vacuum when we're using negative refractive index? No, I'll, I'll put, put the question back to you. Okay. What is the refractive index? Uh, 
What is the refractive index? Speed of light. Huh? Speed of light. Tell definition. What is the definition? You write good question. Yeah. Tell me the definition. Spe speed of light in a medium. Speed of light in medium. You talk about vacuum? Yeah. Speed of light in vacuum? Yeah. You have the answer. Sit down. Oh. You got the answer, right? Sir, as you said, uh, that LCD is combined with nanometer, but not why, uh, why not L LEDs? Hey, you are sir, I'm confused. No, sir. Really confused. What is it? As you, you said, about? that L LCD is combined with nanometer, but why not uh, LEDs? Nanometer. Nanomatter. Nanomaterial. Yes. Okay. But you why not? Kannada 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 you don't know. Okay. Hmm. I didn't get his question at all. No. What, what is it? Sir, as you said that LCD is combined with nanomatter, but why not uh, we can use to combine uh, like uh, LEDs or not? We are combining, yes, we are combining. We are very much, see, now in the market, if you go to any market and try to buy LCDs, sorry, your television, what they said is LED. They are pulling you around. They are pulling you. Only the backlights are, you know, LEDs, but the screen is still LCD, okay? Is combining. It's a good question. We are combining. That's how, in fact, all the LCDs what you have in the market is a combination of liquid crystals and LEDs. Okay? I answered your question. Yeah. Backlight we call, backlight or LEDs where the screen is LCD. Okay. Actually, whatever we have uh, in, in, in the market, yes. everyday life we use uh, the di display devices. All the display devices has this LCD. Without LCD, you cannot see anything. Okay, sir, we have a demonstration over there and uh, I have you, kept, you will I have visualize. Some, uh, posters there, you can wa watch it. Okay, yeah. I have okay. some few things to show. Yeah. These are liquid crystals and they are thermally. I mean, you want to see the liquid crystal? Yes, sir. How it looks like? Yes, sir. Okay, I'll show you. Sir is going to show that. Yes. Okay. Let me say liquid crystals are very, very Please sensitive to temperature. Okay. You are sensitive to temperature. Yes or no? Okay. Those can be used as a thermal sensors. Okay. Let me see whether this boy is hot or not. Come. Yeah. Uh, we are in room temperature, right? Yeah. Almost 25, 26 degrees Celsius. Hold it. And his body temperature is more than that room temperature. Can you see that? Very hot boy. Yeah. <laughs> Once again. See those liquid crystals. Do it again. You know? Remove. See, just through a fraction of a second, he keeps. Okay? In nature, you have n number of you know creatures. They use liquid crystals. Okay? Liquid crystals are very sensitive. These are called polystic liquid crystals. Okay? We can make strip th th uh, thermometer. You have, you have seen the strip, thermometer strip? You will see it there, okay? So, this girl, only body temperature I'm checking. Boy is hot, okay, not girl. Remove. Oh, much more. Yeah. You, you are married? That Everyone individual, you can you can check in the the chemical heritage hey, exposition. We have the <laughs> huh? How many children? <laughs> he is telling lies. Jokes apart, mm -hmm. okay? Remove. No, you are married. You are not hot. You are not hot. Gone case. I suspected it. Okay. Be careful. Okay, don't, don't come, don't come, don't sit down. You can check. Married? <laughs> Keep it for a long time. Remove. Ah. Oh. 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 One boy, one more boy. Come. Definitely. This stand here. Stand. This guy is not married. <laughs> Remove. Yeah. 
Anybody? Come, come fast. Please don't talk. Sir. One teacher representative. One teacher representative. Teacher. Teacher. Remove. Ah, very hot. Ah. Ah, very hot boy. All right. All right. Okay. We enjoy everything Please don't. There. In the, you know, I put two posters and I hope that uh, you will come back to me again. I'll talk more and more about liquid crystal and how to win Nobel Prizes. Would you like to win Nobel Prizes? I will advise you, but I'll take half fees, okay? If you get Nobel Prize, you get a lot of money, isn't it? Half to me, okay? Is that the deal, okay? Fine. All the best. Do well in your life, okay? All the best. Check. I hope you enjoyed. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much for the wonderful and uh, it was a uh, brainstorming and it was a little fun, you know, at the end of the lecture. And we, uh, we learned many things, you know, with, uh, you know, we did not know that, right? You know, when we watched that uh, Harry Potter movie, we did not know the, what is the material. Today we got to know. That's why at the beginning itself, we, you know, we told you, you know, we, we have spoken, right? Uh, we are going to learn something new. And thank you very much uh, once again, sir. On behalf of CNRO Hall of Science and Education Technology Unit, this is a small presentation to sir. One, one more announcement. Yeah, one more announcement. And we have a coffee and tea. Uh, we'll learn something new again. But you, ha you, are, you are not supposed to waste the valuable time. Go and quickly have a coffee and tea, and you have to come back. OK? And somebody, and one more thing. I need a volunteer. So all the teachers are volunteers here. And uh, you are all on behalf of CNRO Hall of Science and uh, ETU. And you are all volunteers here. OK? Please take care of your care, you know, because the lectures are going on, you know, in between here and uh, in other buildings. Please don't make noise. May please maintain the pin drop silence while having coffee and tea. Immediately, quickly, we have and come back. Otherwise, We'll skip many experiments if you if you take a lot of time. And one more thing, shall we take one photo, group photo with sir? Yes, sir. And immediately, you know, here there are steps. You know, you go and you know uh, go and sit over there, and we'll take one group photo. Front two lines, please leave it. You know, the empty. All the teachers yeah, all the yeah, teachers, teachers. Yeah, and please go. I, I request all the volunteers, the teachers, please guide your students. There, uh, you have the steps, not here, outside, outside. 